Good morning again, everybody. Welcome back to Lily Lulu. If you're new here, my name is Karen, the Junk Journal Geek. And if you are a returning visitor, thank you very much for coming back to join me today. So today I'm going to be making these um, pockets. This was one of Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah's Mass Makes. Um, I think she called them Easy Envelope Triple Pockets or some combination like that. Now, I've made this one quickly so that I've got a rough idea of what I'm doing. And I've just um, quickly stuck it down with glue stick. Um, so it's not going to hold because obviously this, this is made from an envelope that's been folded several times. So um, the glue stick's not really good enough for the job. I just wanted to show you, um, you know, what we were going to be making. And when I make these, I'm actually going to stitch mine rather than glue them. Um, <clears throat> but just so you, you can see how they're going to end up looking and mine are not going to get completely finished on camera because I'm going to be stitching and also because I have still not found my um, ink yet so I can't ink the edges and everything so I'm going to make the bases and then I will ink and stitch them off camera um, and they'll be ready to go then in any future projects um, but I'm just going to show you, you know, the basic sort of construction of these. And the reason I've decided to do this is I've got masses of paper. And as you know, I haven't really got a lot of storage space um, now. So I wanted to use up some of my papers. And I've also got, this is just a small selection of the envelopes that I've got in my stash. Um, these have all come through the mail. They're all used envelopes. So I thought I would... Um, you know, start making some ephemera ready to go in journals and kill two birds with one stone. So I've gone through my um, junk mail envelopes and I've pulled out these ones that haven't actually been used. These are the ones, you know, when you get um, junk mail, they often have a reply, a prepaid reply envelope inside. So I've pulled those out because they're nice and new, um, rather, but you can use used envelopes, but obviously, um, you'd need to think about how, if you've opened them neatly, then it would be fine, but you'd need to think about how to reseal these. I mean, you could cover the whole thing, um, but I just thought for simplicity today, we'll use these ones. So the first thing we're going to do is to seal the envelope. So, how are you all today? I hope you are all well and safe and happy. Um, everything's fine here. Hubby is still off work um, convalescing from his op. Um, girls are both, were both away overnight, so it's a, quite a quiet house here at the moment. Hubby's still in bed right now. So, I've sealed this up. And then I'm just going to turn up. You can vary the sizes of these how you want them um, to be. It doesn't really matter. And I'm using mainly, um, I've got here. Sorry, and now I'm just turning back this, this corner that I've just turned up. Um, I'm turning it back on itself to meet the base of the whole thing. So they, you can see there, that's the construction of the envelope. And of, you know, I might do some the other way as well. So that's the base of how we're going. And I've forgotten what I was saying now. I still need to be slurping my tea to try and deal with this silly cough. So yeah, papers. Um, I've got mainly printables here and the freebie papers from some magazines um, because you know you've got however cheap and flimsy your envelopes are you're already going to have several layers um, so you don't really want too thick paper going on top of this because it will be difficult to handle so I'm going to <clears throat> cut or tear my paper slightly bigger than the envelope itself um, so that I can fold over the edges because I like to have, you know, the edges, A, they're reinforced and B, it looks a bit neater. Um, I didn't necessarily do that with that this one that I made. 
that's my little prototype. I was just sort of following along to see what to do. Um, but you know, when you make these things yourself, then you think of ways that you're gonna make it your own, don't you? So, so that's gonna cover my back piece. And again, I want a little bit extra at the sides so that I can fold all these over. I mean, you could, um, if you covered the back of these as well, you could have these as floating pockets. Um, obviously with this one I've made, we've got a pocket here. Did I show you this? I think I started and then stopped. We've got a pocket here, because I was explaining about the glue stick not holding properly, wasn't I? Pocket here then, pocket here. We've opened the envelope at the top, so we've got a pocket there. And that's another thing, you know, you may want to put something in there to, to make that look prettier when you're putting things in and out. And then when you stick this down, you can stick it on, you know, three sides and have a pocket here as well. So I don't think I explained that at the beginning, so I do apologise. So, so what I could do here is when I... Um, yeah, when I, oh no, that's going to be on the wrong, sorry, I'm just thinking out loud, ignore me. Right, so these pieces are going to be folded over here, so we'll have a nice neat edge there. Um, and then I need to open this pocket at the top, which normally I would do with my guillotine to make it straight but I'll just snip it there for now so that you can see what I'm doing so let's stick that piece down first and of course literally Max went out just before I turned the camera on had a nice long mooch out in the garden and as soon as I turned the camera on he's at the back door whinging again now if I wasn't on camera he would be on the settee asleep now so I don't want to put that down on there and make my mat all sticky. So I'm just, I know I'm off camera, but I'm literally just sticking my paper down. I just thought, am I sticking it to the right side? <laughs> right, so that's on there. Not particularly straight, but it will do. And then I'm just going to stick these side pieces down on the back. So as I say, if you covered the back as well, you could have this as a floating pocket, you know, if you disguised that. And um, this is obviously why I need my ink because, you know, my cutting's not great and that looks a bit shabby. And then this piece, I'm just gonna pop in here um, so that when you see in the, you know, as you're putting things in and out, you see a piece of nice paper rather than envelope paper. If you're using, um, you know, brown envelopes for this, craft coloured envelopes, you might be happy just to see, you know, the, the sort of craft colour. That's still a little bit too long. Um, I'm not making a very good job of this, am I? <laughs> Everything's sticking to me now. <laughs> oh, why is everything always so much more difficult when you're on camera? Right, in you go. And you stick there. I'm just trying to slide this piece up to the edge and as I say I think when I finish this I will um just guillotine that top edge just to make it a bit neat. Max no in your bed excuse me sorry about that <coughs> yeah so as I was saying when I finish these um I will guillotine this top edge to make that a bit neater so then we want a piece of um, paper to cover this edge that you can still see. Now I liked using 
this the same paper as I've used here because it makes it look cohesive. It all looks like one piece. So I'm just going to pop this piece of paper along there, um, you know, so that it sort of blends everything in. I'm just wondering if I, I'm going to go over the edge again, just to give that corner a little bit of reinforcement. Um, but I will want to, sorry, that edge. I will want to tear this corner piece off. So, go that way, Karen. everywhere this morning. Now, what you want to be careful here is not to glue around the whole thing because you want that to be a pocket. So, oops. I'm just folding this edge back on itself just so that that edge is reinforced when you're popping things in and out of this pocket here. And snip that off there. And then let's glue this bottom piece up. I'm sure I'm making this much more com com sound more. <laughs> I'm sure I'm making this sound much more complicated than it actually is. <laughs> I can't even speak this morning. Now I'm going to find um, a different piece of paper, and you can use book page or music paper. Anything you like for these, um, that's not quite wide enough. You know, use up your scraps and off cuts and misprints and all that sort of thing. But as I say, don't use anything. Like this is Tim Holtz paper. I think that would be too heavy for this particular project. So, um, but you know, you use what suits you and what you've got doesn't have to be anything in particular. I'm just having a rummage to see what else will look nice with this. Um, I had something in mind and I can't see it now. Sorry, rummaging on camera. It. Right, let's use this. This is sort of coordinating, so that will be alright. So, again, I'm going to make that a little bit bigger than what I want so that I can um, fold over the edges again. So, let's just tear that about there. Not very well torn, but it doesn't really matter. Pop some glue on my triangular piece of envelope. So I'm just going to pop that down there. And then deal with my corners so that I can get nice, neat edges. I 
feels quite warm this morning. I think I misjudged that. Let's stick this piece down first. And this is why I want my ink so I can disguise little accidents like that where I've just torn that too much. Let's pop this bit down. So that's that covered. I hope this is making sense what I'm doing. Oh, I've done that wrong. Didn't mean to stick that there. I'm supposed to have cut that piece off. seemed so simple. Right, so there is my pocket. So as you can see, it needs inking around all the edges. And then I will stitch this on the sewing machine um, along here. And then that will give me a pocket here and a pocket here. Um, and when I stick it in, I will stick it on the three sides. I've got a pocket actually in the envelope there and another pocket there. So I hope that all made sense, but I'll do another one. Um, I'm just wondering, we'll do one going the other way. Um, Yeah, I need to, I think I should have gone all the way along there. Right, so there's the two we've done so far. Sorry, going off camera. So let's have another go. I don't know how many of these I'm going to do on camera because um, I think once you've seen how they're done, it's going to be a bit repetitive. Um. So I'm going to fold that up there and then this time I'm going to fold, fold this corner down so that we've got one facing the other way. Folder, right now. And my tea is going cold next to me. Let's have another slurp of tea. I forgot to say, I think this paper was um, free with a magazine. Um, in case you're wondering. Oh, I've got some, these need to be printed on the back so I can use them for things like this. They ended up being, the, you know, when you do test prints and things, they're out of the printer and I haven't, don't want them to go to waste. I want to print them on the back for, you know, when I want to collage and things like that. 
Right, I've got some, um, I think this is the Rose Rendezvous paper from um, Sunny Creates. So, if I do the same again here, I think my blue page is very blue now, so let's have a turn over there. And let's get the back of this glued up. this down doing it first this time because I've decided I do want to fold that in to protect that edge that's going to have things going in and out. So let's get our corners done properly this time. I forgot about the bottoms. a bit neater when we fold them. So I'm going to fold these edges in this time. So I think the, the more you make these things, the more you realise what you could do better next time and the easier it becomes to do them. Then this top piece I'm going to fold in tricky there at the edge where I've sealed the envelope but I think it would be okay. She says <laughs> struggling. So that's given me a neater edge on the front there now and then again I want to put a piece in there to hide the back but I think I'm going to do the same this time. I think I'm going to actually fold it over. So we want that to be torn about there. And let's try and get it straightish so that it will go in the envelope this time. And what do we want about that much? And then if we fold that in half, hopefully. over that edge. Yes. And that will just give us a nice neat, both edges will be nice and neat and reinforced for when we're popping things in and out of this back pocket. Once you put the glue on, it doesn't want to go. Come on. There we go. Right, so that's that piece done. 
and then I want the same again I want to have the same design here so that it all blends in so and I'm going to think I'm going to cover the whole piece this time to make sure um, you can't see anything at the bottom and the other one there was a little gap at the bottom which is not the end of the world I will be able to disguise it when I come to decorate these when I'm actually using them but um, it just makes life a little bit simpler if you've done the whole lot doesn't it don't go right up to the crease Karen Max, no. Good boy. Good boy. Shh. No. Max, I'm trying to do a video. I don't need your sound effects in the background, thank you. Shh. Snip that little corner off there. This bottom piece around the bottom. Looks like I'm running out of glue stick again. Like that. And then we just need to deal with this flap on the front. So what we're going to use for that. waste this is printed on the back as well oh, I think I was going to make a journal with these papers but they've gone into the wrong pile <laughs> right so how far down do I want this let's go here and we can always trim a bit more off. Max, no. No. Oh, he's being very naughty, isn't he? In your bed. There's nothing out there. to go there. 
you nearly you did what I told you not to do then and sealed my little pocket. It's going to go there and that is going to go there. So let's Just get confused when I'm mitering these corners about what's going to be needed and what's not as you saw. Oh, I've still done that. I've stuck that on the wrong piece. Right. Goodness me, I'm making a mess of this again. <laughs> Real life crafting. You get the warts and all when you watch my channel. Right, so that's going to go there. That needs another little snippety snip off there. This is why we need ink. And I think this will be the last one I'm making today because that's the end of my glue stick. So, no more crafting for me today till I've been down the shops. So that's going to go there, that's going to go there. Again, I've got a bit of creasing and mucking up going on on that corner, but again, that needs inking and that will be fine. So I'm going to stitch down here and then we'll have a pocket here, pocket here. I'll stick this down on probably those three sides I've got a pocket there at the top which I can't find now I might put a little notch in there and then there'll be a side pocket there when that's stuck down so I hope that all made sense these are that was the one I made before we turned the camera on these two I have just made with you all I'm sorry I can't show you them absolutely finished as I say I need to stitch off camera and I definitely need to ink before I stitch. So um, at some point you'll probably see them up on my Instagram all finished. But you can see from using different papers, the different, you know, they look totally different, don't they? The different effects that you can get. So um, I hope I didn't confuse you too much with all that. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. I'll be back again in another couple of days with something else for you. But in the meantime, Take care of yourself and enjoy your own crafty time. Bye-bye.